Good evening, I'm here with Bruce Terrell at the Masters of Wine Dinner at the Landmark Australia t Tutorial 2010. And Bruce, you've just regaled the room with um, the fascinating story of that 47 Chardonnay and how it came to be. And I think that's a story that you should share with the world. So, over to you, Bruce. Well, it's, uh, it's got an interesting start. My father got a great love of white burgundy in the early mid-60s. Um, went out with the head of horticulture, the New South Wales government, a fellow called Graham Gregory and went looking for the best place to get Chardonnay and actually found it three miles up the road from home uh, on a vineyard that belonged to Penfold. He asked them three years in a row if he could have cuttings and they said no and after the third no we stuck in one night's dollar. Um, <laughs> that's basically how Chardonnay in modern time in Australia got started. Uh, it's a bit like the Remington ad, we liked the Chardonnay so much we bought the vineyard at the end of 1982 and I'd still have it. And in fact, this year have made the Chardonnay off that original block, uh, which was planted in 1908. So this is its 100th vintage. It's made that line on its own. It really is something quite special. But the early days of 47, we made 71 and 72, the same as we made the same big boat. That was it. 73, we bought a dozen Demptos French oak. Um, punches, not functions, uh, hogsheads. Hogsheads, and the wine was fermented and matured in this year's mature. Um, two really quite funny stories. Firstly, in about May, Ray Shipton and Bruce Tyson, and the two technical wine making bosses of McWilliams in the day, uh, and we were very close to McWilliams, but it's had one, came through and, and we showed him the wine out of the barrel, and Bruce Tyson turned to my man and said, well, you buggered that up, Murray. They said, there's no way anyone in Australia will ever drink white wine in Britain. Four years later, the old man sent him about 10 dozen saying, you can have some of this stuff that no one was ever going to drink. Um, we put it in Brisbane show that year, and it got six out of 20. Uh, I think I said tonight, the, the spit bucket at the end of the tasting would get eight. Um, the, Bill Chambers was chairman of judges, and uh, he said to me, the wine is either volatile or not so or it's the greatest white wine I've ever seen. And until I make up my mind, I'll keep giving it six out of 20. It got to Adelaide that year uh, with Len Evans and Rudy Comon, the judge of the panel, and it got the champion of the So, from a really interesting start, so is the, the history of the Australian Charter. Chris Terrell, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And it's not a bad drinker.